Hi, it's Amy Keast at amykeast.com, and today I wanted to share a spirit story with you, one that's really great, and it's something that happened a few years ago when um, my daughter was just a little girl, and I hope you like it. Well, my daughter and I go to the dentist together to get our teeth cleaned. We each go into different rooms, and then when we're finished, we meet up. So what happened this one particular time, when my daughter was fairly young, I'm, I'm going to say she was probably six or seven, um, we were at the dentist's office, and I was getting my teeth cleaned, and when she was finished, she came into the, to the room where I was, and while I finished up, and she was just talking to me and, you know, talking to the dental hygienist, and you know, it was pretty routine. And she, she whispered in my ear that there was a gentleman in the corner. And so I looked over there and hoping to see somebody, something, but, um, I didn't see anything. And so, um, I, you know, finished up with, with the dental hygienist and everything. And, and we left to, um, left the office. And as we were leaving, my daughter says that it was a, um, an older gentleman. She told me he had silver hair and that he was wearing a long white lab coat and he had something around his neck. And I, you know, wasn't really sure what was around his neck, but we, you know, had finished that conversation and I went up to the receptionist and, um, kind of explained to her what, what Ellen had seen. And she was, um, we talked a little bit, while this was going on, Ellen was in the front of the office um, waiting for me, and she saw some pictures on the wall. And there was a picture of the dentist and then a picture of his parents um, in a little collage type thing on the wall. So um, I got, went out to get her, and I said, you know, are you ready to go? And she pointed to the picture, and she said, that's the man in the corner. So it was a picture of the doctor's father, and he was a doctor, a medical doctor, and he wore a long white uh, coat and he had a stethoscope and she pointed to the stethoscope and she said, yeah, he wore that. And I said, well, that's a stethoscope. She, she really didn't know what that was because she was a little girl. And so anyway, that was, that was that. Um, Dr. Markham, the older gentleman was a doctor back um, when I was a little girl and I had known him. We were also neighbors. And so I had, you know, I recognized him right away. Anyway, um, he was just hanging out with his son, just wanting to know what his son was doing, just kind of wanting to take part. Um, it was just um, one of those things. I later told the dentist about what had, had happened and he, he also said that there has been other sightings of his father there and he is one of um, quite a few children and he likes to make poke fun at his siblings and say that his, he's the most popular, that his, his father is hanging out with him and not the others. So I just thought that was a neat story to share about, um, you know, our, you know, spirit energy and, and how our loved ones still like to be around us, even though they're um, they're no longer in the physical. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you have a story that you'd like to um, share, I'd love to hear from you. Just um, send me a message at amykeese.com and I'll see you next time.